Genesis 21 verse 14. So as we cry to God concerning Nigeria, as we cry to God concerning the kingdom, kingdom priority is the secret to divine additions. Kingdom priority is the secret to divine additions. Now, before we read this, I remember the story of Anna. Many of us are familiar with that. I mentioned that on Wednesday. I learned from these stories. This is a woman that had been mocked, disgraced in her household. She was barren for a number of years. And then they go to the temple every year, like visiting, like a pilgrimage. And she would be praying, Father, give me a son or give me a child. This mockery is too much. But it looked like God was even responding. Then one particular year, she hit it well. She said, okay, if you give me a man child, I will give him to you all the days of your life. Wow. For me, that's a sacrifice. For a woman that had not had a child, and then you're expecting one. And you now say, if that one comes, I will drop him in the temple. In those days, uh, the temple she was talking about is not a Sunday service or midweek service. It's a place they visit once in a year. That means she would drop the child in the temple and then be visiting once in a year. It's like not having a child. And then God responded. And then barrenness was shattered. And beyond Samuel, the child of promise in that sense, she had other five children. So I know that when you put God's kingdom first in anything you do, uh, there will be divine addition. She had Samuel and she had five others. A woman that was called barren. Hi, hope you loved that video. Kindly subscribe and click the notification bell to see more videos like this.